my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a little review on this. I went to the Walmart because I've been seeing people trying this cheese and caramel. I just had to try it. I, I love cheese popcorn. I'm not crazy about caramel, but um, we're going to try this. I saw that they had the Snickers popcorn. I love Snickers. And then I hadn't tried this in years. I was like, oh, let me pick this up and see if it still tastes like it used to back in the 80s. I doubt it, but it used to be one of my favorites. All right. This is what I'm interested in. Has anybody else tried this? There's a cheese popcorn. This is the caramel. Caramel cheese. I'm gonna do them separate and then we'll do them together. Cheese, no taste, very dry. Very still. It's like it's been sitting out for a year. Not good. Caramel tastes like regular caramel uh, popcorn. I'm pretty sure why it's going together is because the cheese has no taste. It's very still. So you're not getting any taste, so it's not mix, mixing together. So I'm pretty sure that's why. People saying, oh, I love it. Well, you're loving it because you're not getting any tea, cheese taste. So I'm going to try them together. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you're getting this caramel. There's not a bit of cheese. Let me do cheese, two cheese, but one caramel. Let's try that. Your thyme cheese taste. They're trying to trick people. That's just a big word up here. Scam. Yeah. So. It's caramel popcorn with stale popcorn. That's all it is. So, it's a big scam, so. Yeah. Okay. Snickers popcorn. So popcorn with little bitty peanuts and chocolate. Mm, I don't get. Well, Snickers is one of my favorite candy bars. It's one of them. I'm a top five. It's not a Snickers. Um, that tastes something like that British chocolate. That's all I know I don't like. Hey, if you live in the UK, you'll love it. Mm. My kids will eat it. I'll pass on it. Crunch your munch. Butter toffee popcorn with peanuts. Mm. 
Okay, I see toffee popcorn. I don't see any peanuts. Yeah, um, oh, hold on. Does this one have a peanut? No. Hmm. Maybe it's peanut flavor. They used to have peanuts. Wait. Oh, I'm down here. One tiny little peanut. They usually big peanuts. Mm, there's a little peanut there. See? Hmm. Not like it was in the 80s. Very disappointed in Grinch and Munch. I see if you want it with peanuts, you'll need to add peanuts to yourself. Um, it's just buttery toffee popcorn. So I, I wouldn't, if you're looking for peanuts with this, look for another brand because this is not like it used to be. This is no Snickers, so I would, if you're looking for Snickers taste, I'd pass on this. I'm harsh on these people. I know, my, I know some people will kiss these people's butts. They're, yeah. I was just fixing to use that other word, but um, no. And um, I'm going to tell you, I'm like this. This, just right, scam. Yeah, this, this. This needs to be in the Crunch and Munch bag of box. Cause that's all it is, Crunch and Munch. And it don't even have no peanuts in it. So what you got here is Crunch and Munch. Yeah. Hmm. Now I got tea. I was thinking while ago I'm gonna do a quick little story well it's not a really story it's about fake people or people who want to be famous I'm noticing on my Instagram all these Johnny Depp fake people follow me must be 80 of them maybe more now every day is four or five of them I'd rather have the real Johnny Depp for me, but we know that's not gonna happen. But, these people, y'all really need, if y'all wanna be famous, go out and do it the right way. Don't ride a famous person's coattails. They went out and did it the right way. That's why they're famous. If you don't like your real name that your parents gave you, go change it. There's a way you can go change your name if you don't like it. I just don't understand why you want to sit there and ride someone's coattails saying, Oh, I'm Johnny Depp. You're not Johnny Depp or anybody else. If you want to be famous, go out. And do it the right way. If you don't become famous, that's okay. You know? Like I said before, 
I'm not trying to make myself famous on YouTube. I'm doing this because I like it. I really enjoy it. I love it. And I'm doing this for the future of my grandchildren, my great grandchildren, great 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 grandchildren. They can look, go back and look and see how I looked, my voice, my mannerism, mannerisms, um, my stories. Because when I go back to my ancestries and I do my ancestry.com, I go back to the 14, 1500s and I see these names. You know, and there's no pictures. You don't have sounds of their voices. And it's like, I wish I could know who these people were. But we can't go back in time. But I can make these videos for the future of my grandchildren, relatives, whoever wants to go back see me, see my voice, know who I am. But if you want to be famous, go out and do it right. I, I just, I don't understand why people want to just ride someone else's coattails. You know, go do it right. That's all I had to say. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.